I'm going to show everybody how to use ABC a story maker. It's a little bit different than in the past. They made some recent changes. So I just want to quickly walk you through how to do a drawing and how to type your story. Once this loads at 100%, you'll see a little play button that you can click to get started. The first thing it'll ask for is your name. And since we're talking about internet safety, it's a great time to remind you just to add your first name. Um, your last name is private information that should not be shared. So just your first name here and enter. And what you can see looks different. Uh, we have some tools down here to create your picture that weren't here before. We can also see that we're on page one and we can add a title page, which I'm going to do. And my title is going to be Digital Citizen Superhero. And you can see my name's already there. Now I'm gonna go back to page one and I have the option of typing first or drawing first. If you wanted to draw first, you could come to this little arrow and choose the set of paint brushes and that will switch you to the Illustrator view. Um, you can see you have all these different paint brushes. Um, you can choose how thick you want your brush to be. This is like a medium. This will be your thickest. And this is where you can change your color. So I put my thin one. This thin one's good for drawing um, smaller items. And I'm going to go back. You can see you do have some other options here as well. When you're ready to write your story, you're going to come up to the text, the uppercase A and lowercase A and you're ready to start telling your story. Um, you can also add a page. If you run out of space typing on this page, you can add a second page. And you can also add another drawing to this page as well. I can just come back here and click on my art tools to draw a picture on my second page. When you're all finished your story, you can click this little up arrow. And then this option here will show you your pictures and your story all together. Um, if there's an extra page that you don't need, you can clear the page to start over or delete the page. Um, you can click on a page just to edit the artwork or edit the text. And this option here lets you save it. Once it's saved, feel free to share it with me. Um, here's my quick version I did. Uh, my digital citizen superhero is Wonder Web Woman. And there's lots of things that she does, lots of superpowers to help kids when they're online. So when you're all finished, just hit that save button and it will download all of your pages to your computer. And then you'll be able to share it with me back in Schoology in the library Dropbox. Hope this helped.